What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to use a move breakdown to help you put your defenders to sleep like Kyrie Irving. Let's get started. All right, guys, like I said, we're gonna go over just a simple, easy move breakdown using a crossover move, but we wanna work on the tempo. We wanna work on putting the defender to sleep by standing up and causing them to relax. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Now, before we get started, go ahead and please click that link that's in the description. Once you click it, you're gonna get a free workout from us at Think Pro Basketball. So let's dive into today's video. And the first thing we wanna work on is putting that defender to sleep, showing them that we're relaxing while handling the basketball. Okay, so what we're gonna do is simply just work on an easy crossover move, but we're gonna set up our defender before we go into it. So the first thing we wanna work on is setting them up, getting them to go to, to fall asleep, to relax, so then we can attack and actually get by them to get to the basket and to score. So what we wanna do first is while we're in our low dribbling position in attack mode here, we wanna stand up. We really wanna get the defender to relax and come out of their stance before we change our pace. So the first thing, we're trying to stand up. So we're here, boom, we're just setting them up, we're sizing them up, then we might come up a little bit into this position here. So you start low, you raise up as well. So we're here, boom, we're in a low position, we raise up, that's when we would go into attack. But when a lot of defenders, especially young defenders, right, they tend to fall asleep when they see the offensive player relax. They're in, when they're in that position where the offensive player is low, they're low too as a defender. So when they're in this position here, and the second they see that offensive player stand up and relax and start to look around, they tend to do the same thing. They'll stand up, be out of their stance, and start looking for help or whatever and see what's going on around them. And that's the time where you'll break out into your change of pace, your change of tempo. Okay, but work on moves like that. Setting your defender up, walking them into it, Boom, raising up a little bit to get them to relax and to fall asleep, then you'll break out your move. But it's an important part of being able to change pace, being able to beat your defender and make them fall asleep by standing up and relaxing yourself as a ball handler. All right, the next thing we wanna talk about is the change of tempo, change of pace. So after we've walked our defender into our move, we're here, we're walking them in, we stand up. Right when we get them to stand up and they, we see them relax, that's when we have to change our pace. That's when, boom, we have to make that hard crossover move to go slow to fast. That helps us create our advantage we're looking for as a ball handler. So we're here, we're breaking them down, we rise up, boom, now we shift gears to get by them to get to the hoop to score. So that's when the change of pace happens. The second that you see your defender raise up or relax, you have to change pace, you have to change direction. Use that simple crossover move to get by, to create that advantage. Because when they're in front of you and you see them go here, they have to then either turn and get out of their stance to try to beat you, or they have to sit back down in their stance to try to stay in front of you. It's hard and darn near impossible for a defender to stay in front of an offensive player in this upright position. So we walk them into it. We're here, boom, we're going slow, we're going slow, we raise up, boom, now it's fast out to get to the hoop to be able to score. All right, so that's what I'm gonna show you in full speed. You'll see the entire move, so pay attention to being able to stand up, to lift your defender, to get them to relax, and then check out the change of pace, the change of direction in order to finish the move off so I can get to the rim and score. Let's have a look at it in full speed.
right, Hoopers, that's it for today's video. A quick little move breakdown to help you get your defender to fall asleep, change your tempo, and break by him to get to the basket to score. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Hit that subscribe button afterwards so you can join and become part of the Think Pro Basketball family as we release great content every single week designed to help you improve your game and take it to the next level. Now, until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember to always keep hooping. See you next time.